welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Beverly on my channel I focus on fashion and styling videos today's video is called dupes versus designers so let's get straight to this video for the first item that I'm going to look at I'm going to look at Bottega's wired shoe this is the shoe that is kind of similar to the old telephone the cords and everything um not a fan of it but I know it's quite popular I love the color though but then Bottega is known for colors I'm going to compare it to one that looks similar to heels from Topshop um the Topshop one is green I don't know if they have a blue one so if I'm comparing it I think I'll choose the Topshop one only because I think that one would be easier to style I think the Bottega one is a bit too bulky I don't think you can wear a lot of things I don't think you can wear that many dresses as well because the wires itself is very very bulky I think it's unique I can see why people are attracted to that I think it's unique it's stylish it's different However, if you're thinking about how many times you can wear it, whether it can go with a lot of items in your wardrobe, I'll say no. I think it will definitely look cool with a pair of jeans as well, but again, I just want something I could wear all the time, whereas I think like the Topshop one is not as bulky, it's not as thick, the wire, should I say, it's not as thick, it's really thin, and you can style it in so many different ways. You most likely just won't be able to wear that with jeans. You can wear jeans and the jeans will be underneath but the Bottega one you can literally wrap it around your jeans but that's something you can't do with the Topshop one the Topshop one is £30 whereas the Bottega one is like £1,000 or something so for me the Bottega one is more of a trend shoe so it's not something that it's going to last for a long time well it's going to last for a long time when, um, if you're thinking about quality but in terms of the style I feel like it'll go out of style very very soon so for me Topshop wins this item is the mini Kelly bag, which is Hermes versus dupe from um, Steve Madden. Um, this one, I think it's no brainer. I would actually choose the Steve Madden one. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think most people most likely choose the Birkin one because that's what's in. I just feel like it's not worth the price. This one I think is really nice, the Steve Madden one. It gives you that look that you're looking for and obviously Steve Madden is also known for having a good quality. I don't know if it's real leather, so I'm just gonna quickly check. So it's not real leather, but I'm sure it's still good quality. I saw the resale price for the Birkin one. Um, I don't even know if it's the Birkin's one or it's just Mini Kelly. I saw it for 60,000 pounds and the mini size, not even a large bag, the mini size. So unless they can justify the price why is it 60 pounds 60,000 not 60 pounds why is it 60,000 pounds then no. for me no even if it's like 30,000 pounds I still don't think it's worth it because bear in mind that was a resale I think I would go for the Steve Madden one as I've mentioned um, it does the trick it's satis it will literally satisfy my needs if that's what I want this one is slightly bigger than the mini Kelly bag um, it's a bit bigger so you can fit more stuff inside it I love the um, color it does have a crocodile print whereas I'm guessing the mini Kelly the one I saw I don't remember but I'm going to send a picture somewhere around here I don't know if it was a crocodile effect or whatever well it wouldn't be a crocodile effect it would be actually a real crocodile that they're using to create the bag and I'm so against that so for that reason uh, definitely definitely would not purchase that bag I just don't think it's worth the price and that's just my unpopular opinion I'm sorry guys uh, yeah so for this one I guess the Steve Madden wins okay so let's move on to the next um dupe versus designer so the next one is Versace versus um Daisy Street these are the Versace um, platform heels that are very popular at the moment a lot of shops have created dupes anyways um this is the best dupe that I have seen out there and I think this one is perfect um of course it's missing certain elements such as the charmed um the rhinestones i know that the versace one has a few more extra details and again if i had to choose of course i'll go for the dupe i don't think the difference is that big i also feel like this is a trendy pair of heels as well i don't see it last well not necessarily a trendy pair it might last for a long time but i think when it comes to the colors um this and yellow is really really pretty really really nice most of the majority most of the dupes that i have seen um the back is opened whereas the back is closed here which is perfect because it looks exactly like the versace one i'm sure the versace one is made better as well i have nothing negative to say about this um like i said i think the daisy street one wins 
than this one. Okay, so the next item is actually a piece of clothes. So um, I don't even know if this is a luxury brand. So Frankie Shop recently bought up this um, bomber jacket, which I think is quite popular at the moment. I love it. I don't know how other people feel about it. I absolutely love it. This is kind of like my vibes. So the Frankie Shop bomber jacket versus the ASOS bomber jacket. I think the ASOS one looks slightly like flimsy, so I wouldn't choose the ASOS one. This is more ASOS edition, so ASOS edition is like some of their things are better, they're supposed to be better quality, so they tend to be slightly more expensive, but this does not look like good quality to me for some reason. I don't even think it looks like a bomber jacket, it looks very thin, whereas the Frankie Shop one has more puff to it, and that's how the bomber jacket is supposed to look like. The Frankie Shop jacket comes in three colours. It comes in Bottega Green, whether they like to call it that or not, purple, which I absolutely love. I'm actually I think I'm gonna get a purple one. I don't care. And the next colour is neutral which is kind of close to the ASOS one. The ASOS one is more stage green which is a nice colour actually. I prefer the ASOS stage green as well. However if I had to choose I'm gonna go for the Frankie Shop one. I think um ASOS one is £100, I just don't think you're really getting that much out of it for £100. I don't see it lasting a long time, I think it's very thin as well. And I think a bomber jacket should be a bomber jacket. So, designer wins this time, if it's designer. Okay guys, so let's move on to the next item. So the next item is the bag for Mango um, versus the Chloe bags. Um, I call it the Chloe bags because they've created different versions of these type of bags. I prefer, so let's get straight into it, I prefer the Chloe one because I think these Chloe bags have been out for a very long time. I think it's a bag that is not tr is not a trendy piece, it's going to last for a very, very, very long time. You can wear it over and over again and they create colours that you can, again, wear for a long time, colours that go with more clothes as well. So I think for that reason, I would definitely, definitely go for the designer version rather than the dupe. The Mango dupe is actually one of the best dupes I've actually seen of the Chloe bags. It does what it's supposed to do. It satisfies your needs rather than spending a lot of money. Mango bags tend to have really good, good quality as well, so I have nothing negative to say about the bag itself. I just think I'll rather splurge a bit on the um, Chloe one. Also, the Chloe one has more details than the Mango one. Um, the Mango one comes in two colours. It comes in the black, which is the universal colour that you can wear with anything. And it also comes in a brown with um, white, which again is another neutral colour that you can wear with a lot of different things. And I think the colours are similar to the Chloe bags as well. So, yeah, it's a good dupe, but designer wins. Next item, I don't know if you guys would consider this an actual dupe, but this is another um, bag that I've seen, or, well, it's from Bottega, um, this, pa this, this pattern that they're using, is called Terry, or, I don't know, it has a soft material, I don't know what it's called, I guess it's called Terry, I think it's called that. So, this is the Bottega versions, which, are, um, they come in different colours, it's more focusing on the pattern rather than the shape of the bag. Um, Mango has created a dupe. I think it's a dupe, when I say a dupe I'm referring to the pattern as being a dupe this time rather than the structure of the bag. I would choose the mango one only because I think it's different. I think the dupe, the pattern is actually the same. Not the same, obviously they can't copy it for trademark reasons so they can't copy it like that. But you can tell that it's similar. I just think this bag is cool. That's why I'm going to choose it. I'm really fed up with the Bottega bag. I think we've seen it everywhere. This summer we're going to oversee it so we're going to see it everywhere so from for that reason i would go for the mango one i think it's better i think it's big i like that and you can wear a lot of things as well with the bottega one it does come with shoes as well there's well not necessarily come with shoes but there's a matching shoes that you can purchase with it it's more for summer um this bag is also for summer but it's big and that's what i like about it so for that reason i'm going to choose the guys so for the next item i'm going to be comparing the bottega zebra bag compared to the public desire zebra bag okay these two are very similar it's literally copy and paste however there is slight difference when it comes to the size i think 
the original or oh, the proper one should I say the designer one is bigger so the Bottega one is bigger whereas the dupe is slightly smaller and um, if I really if I'm gonna be honest with myself if I had to choose I'll definitely go for the designer brand I think that one looks like it's better quality I think like I said it's bigger which I think is a bonus um, if you open inside it it seems more luxurious as well so I definitely will prefer that with the dupe i think it will definitely satisfy your needs if you really want it i i mean i would most likely if i was going to if i was going to really really buy it i'll definitely start with the dupe to see if it's something i really really like and something i'll be using often as well there's no point sp um, splurging a lot on a bag that you're hardly going to use so um i'll stick with the designer because i think it's better looking however if i was to, if i was being really really realistic with myself i'll start off with the dupe just to see how often i actually use it as well because zebra print does not go with everything so i have to make it make sense so in this match designer wins okay guys so this one i think is quite exciting this is the first time i've seen um a dupe that i actually really like so it's the jimmy shoes um i call it bring out um bag but it's the rhinestone bags um, compared with Naked Fashion's Rhinestone bag, which they've just released recently. Um, this is a no-brainer. I think if I was to be really honest with myself and pick one, I'll choose a Naked Fashion one because I think they all look the same. The Jimmy Choose one, I think, has more details, but um, I don't think it's a wow factor, if that makes sense, unfortunately. It's cute, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, I just don't think it's worth £3,000. I would rather go for the dupe, which is, um, I think the dupe is £40, but their naked fashion tends to be expensive. But again, quality is insane, so for this one, no-brainer. I think the dupe does what it's supposed to do. I Again, I think this is a bag that is also a trendy bag. I don't see the point of spending £3,000 on a bag when it's... I don't think the trend's going to last for a long time. And again, you can't wear loads of things. This is like more of like a special occasion bag when you just pull out your wardrobe. So I'm going to go for the naked fashion one so the dupe wins this one all right guys thank you very much for watching this video i really enjoyed making this video i think this video was quite fun i really hope that you feel the same as well um please make sure that you like this video leave a comment below please and engage with me i'm quite transparent with you guys i am trying to grow my youtube channel by leaving a comment below it helps my channel and youtube for some reason prefers comments so leave a comment below and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much and see you soon bye bye